Click on the menu item, Transactions, Rotations, Rotations. The rotations registered in the system will be displayed. By default the sheet only displays active rotations. Click on the print button at the top of the sheet on the left hand side to print the list. Use the export button next to it to save the list in Excel, CSV or PDF format. The button next to export may be used to define the number of hits to be displayed. At the end of rows click on the blue edit button to edit rotations or the red delete button to delete them. Use the filter fields in the top row over the sheet to filter for date, farm, profile, status, genetics and body weight table. Once the filtering conditions are set, click on the yellow filter button. Use the search text box in the top right corner to search for data in the sheet. Add a new rotation by clicking on the orange new button in the top right corner. From the drop down menu at farm, select the farm for which you wish to assign the rotation. Provide a name and starting and closing dates for the new rotation. Select the body weight table from the drop down menu. If you do not select the body weight table for the rotation, then the sheet with the ID number 1 will be automatically assigned to it. You may distinguish male and female individuals within a rotation. To do this, add a new one to your body weight tables dedicated to females. You may then select this new table from the drop down list. If a fattening contract has been concluded with the farm involved, you may select it from the relevant drop down menu. The terms and conditions of these contracts may be recorded and saved under Transactions Contracted Fattening Fattening Contract. If a fattening contract is assigned for a given rotation, the rotation will be displayed under Transactions Contracted Fattening Contracted Fattening Statement. Select a specific feed plant if you know that all the feed for a given rotation will be obtained from this feed plant. You may also assign a particular feed distributor to the rotation. In the rows Due Date for Feed Purchase and Due Date for Young Animal Purchase, you may select the due dates for these purchases. It is important to note that if you select a concrete date, then the due date for all the feed or young animal purchases assigned to the rotation and recorded and saved in the system will be this date. You may also add comments and select a color for the rotation. The latter option may be useful when you wish to mark different genetics with matching colors to promote manageability. Once all the data have been specified, click on the green Save button. In the new sheet displayed, select the barns to be stocked in the given rotation from the drop down menu by clicking on the new button. If you wish to stock all the barns in the list, you do not have to assign them to the rotation one by one. Instead, select the option All and click on the green Save button. Once you have assigned the barns to the rotation, you may immediately purchase young animals. Click on the Next Purchase Young Animals and follow the steps explained in the training video Add New Transaction. A rotation is closed when all the animals reared in it have been sold and all the transactions related to the rotation have been recorded and saved. We recommend to use the date of the last marketable livestock sale as a closing date. A rotation is closed by selecting a date in the field Closing Date using the Calendar function and clicking on the green Save button. By this, the status of the rotation will be changed from active to closed. It means purchases cannot be recorded for it anymore. In queries, it will appear wherever you filter for closed rotations. However, it may happen that you need to record tram transaction to rotations already closed. Click on the blue Edit button in the row of the particular rotation, delete the closing date and click on the green Save button to save the modifications. Then the rotation became active and you may add transactions to it. Then close the rotation again by filling in the closing date field. Make sure closing date is the current date or any other date subsequent to the date of the last recorded transaction. Once you finished, click on the green Save button again.